Every single video on this channel is going to make you smarter. That's why you should subscribe and hit the bell icon. So the way I look at it, uh, I mean, personally, I feel like you're sitting on this volcano of growth eventually because I just feel that younger people now, like in their early 20s, there's a lot of entrepreneurial energy. There's a lot of, um, you know, energy when it comes to, again, personal finances. There's a lot of thoughts behind, okay, how do I grow to that next level? Because honestly, uh, considering the fact that I'm guessing a big chunk of your audience is tier one cities in India. Like, uh, and therefore, I mean, your consumers tier one cities in India. And therefore, um, they are very influenced by the West. They're very influenced by America. They're very influenced by the Gary V's of the world. I don't know how familiar you are with Gary V, but he's this, he's this entrepreneur from America who does a lot of social media content. He promotes the idea of growth, challenging yourself. And even when we hire people for Monk Entertainment, which is our media company, so when we're hiring 22-year-olds, they're extremely different from what even I was when I was 22, and I'm just five years older than them. But the, the whole thought process is completely different. So is that something that you'll think about a lot? Because I'm assuming you do, considering the fact that you've designed a minimalist app, you know, considering the fact that um, that is a big chunk of your audience, that 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line is where you'll really see the growth of Zerodha. No, no, I mean, I think every single thing that we built today is for that crowd, you know, in the sense of the 20 to 30 year old crowd. I think what's also changed with this crowd is just a risk taking appetite. You know, I think mm. that's dramatically changed. You know, I can, because, you know, we started the business from 2010 to now, right? As in like five years back, you know, the way people used to respond, the, the younger crowd uh, to stock markets, to what they're doing today, there's a drastic change in that. And uh, I think why risk risk trading appetite? Because, you know, I think it's capitalism, capitalism at, at its, you know, it's play at play, right? As in it's people know that they have to make their money work just you know, earning a salary isn't enough, you know, they, you know, whatever is saved, you know, that has to work for them, you know, and you can't, you know, and also I think there is this whole insecurity in terms of, you know, I, I think today's world, you can't really, the retirement ages has come down from 60 to 55 and etc. I don't know if uh, a lot of people know about it, but as and when the retirement age is reducing, that means post-retirement where you don't earn a salary, you have a lot of time to spend, which means that, you have to start saving for your retirement as early as possible. And um, while you know the uh, while there is a lot of consu excessive consumerism, consumerism is a problem in this country. That is, people you know spending, you know, like swiping out the credit card on the first day of the month, and then trying to make up, you know, as and when. But, but there is this whole chunk of audience, a new bunch of people who who understand that, you know, saving for retirement is a is an important concept. Right. And, uh, and I think we need to find a way to, you know, make sure the entire crowd thinks like that. And right? you can't just have a small mm. portion of this 20 to 30 year old saying, you know what, my dad retired at 60, but I might retire at 52 or 50. Right. That means I have 10 years lesser to save, uh, you know, for my retirement. Right. And so, you you know, say if you start earning at 20 and say you save till 50 and so you have 30 years of earning and you have maybe another 20, 30 years of living off your savings, right? So how much do you need to save, uh, you know, and, and the cost of living is continuously going up, right? As in you, I don't think it's going to reduce ever, right? So, uh, so yeah, so I can see that, you know, people thinking of it, you know, like a big section of the 20 to 30 year old, but there's also a big section of 20 to 30 year old who wants to buy just, you know, I mean, if a, a person who earns 50,000 rupees wants to go spend one lakh rupees on an iPhone, which is ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's probably the most stupid thing someone can do, right? But uh, but people, you know, get caught by this consumerism. And I think our marketers and advertisers just make it all so, you know, it's almost like a must have today, right? As in like the latest phone, the latest shoes, the latest whatever, right? Uh, I think what, what has also happened in this COVID era, right, is people have not been spending on this, you know, discretionary stuff, which means they have suddenly gotten, you know, access to this money, which was getting spent otherwise, which is also the reason I think why, you know, people like us, you know, the businesses like us have done well, because uh, that money, which is in the bank, instead of going and finding its way to a Nike shoes or an iPhone has, you know, probably gone into, you know, Reliance Industries or, you know, <laughs> State Bank of India or some stock like that, you know, so, uh, which is good. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, no, I think, you know, 
you know, excessive consumerism, consumerism is the one which is killing the climate, uh, you know, it's killing the planet, you know, the, it's problem matter for the climate change etc so on think, on on multiple levels dude it's not just climate change it's it's probably i i think over time i've begun to look at it as a very minor part of self harm also because the more you own right. you know the more you're prone to misery but that's just that's a deep spiritual theory more on that later go on yeah so uh, so even the education so we have launched this uh, like a mobile app for education it's called varsity the the education the web you know it's also on the mobile so um, so we we've, we've seen a lot of you know and and the and the thing what we've done in that financial education is it's we've broken it down into small little uh, non intimidating kind of ways to uh, you know teach people finance and that's that's also yeah. doing quite well you know with the, with the audience and uh, the startup ecosystem that we're working with they've built a lot of very cool uh, you know products for the 20 to 30 year olds and you know uh, that's also kind of done well so yeah so the focus is is 20 to 30 year old i think india has the highest number of 20 to 30 year olds in the in the in the world um i think the way we are looking at our business is that you sit with them teach them good habits and you know wait for them to get richer in their life so you know so they automatically start generating more revenue for the business as well uh, you know as and when this progresses